Mansfield in uh, the blue and yellow tops, blue shorts and blue socks that will get us underway in the familiar blue and white stripes, white shorts, white socks and the kicking from left to right as the uh, fans just move around, not sure whether it's segregated this evening but certainly uh, some of the neat fans moving around in front of the uh, rugby club. So, uh, Mansfield will be playing a traditional 4-4-2 line-up as uh, Tom James gets his first touch and uh, puts it out for a throw into Mansfield on the halfway line on the far side. Of course, we always have a little bit of difficulty seeing under the lights here at Liberty Way, but it's a reasonably clear night. Last time we were here against Telford, it was misty and uh, there was a little bit of rain in the air. Tonight, it's uh, cleared up nicely from that earlier rain. Pitch looks beautiful and uh, certainly warmed up a little bit as well. So, set forward then. Uh, be a uh, foul. I think against Connor Taylor, which uh, sees him playing as a striker alongside Andy Brown, and I'm led to believe that's his preferred position, Mark. Yeah, definitely. I think he's bought as a, as a centre forward at Villa as, a, as an apprentice and as an academy player, and then he's moved on to, to Warsaw, and that's where he's been playing. So I think the Gap Rocks have been play out, out wide um, in his first appearance, and you know, maybe to get him out of physicality. But, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he, how, how he shapes up in his, his favourite position. Well, headed into the box then, and uh, cleared away by Cowan, and now a uh, chance for need to perhaps break and uh, certainly Andy Brown will get there first. He's played a first time ball but it's uh, gone wayward and that'll be picked up by Redmond. Taylor keen to take. He just puts the ball down to around about five yards inside and then meeting uh, Mansfield Hartman and takes it quickly out to Adam Walker. That goes up to the far side to uh, Tom James. Inside to Danny Sleeth. Sleeth looks up. He's got an option down this side. It is Kevin Malaga. Malaga can just to, oh, take a nice little touch inside and then put a deep cross to the far side. Up goes Taylor. Doesn't quite make it, but uh, well, just four to uh, Tom James. And James looks like he's been fouled, but nothing given given now. So the referee looks to uh, play an advantage. But a good free flowing move. And certainly Kevin Malaga was part of that. Not shy, this set central defender, to play football. And now he just trots up to see if he can uh, get something from the resulting free kick, which is. Uh, about 25 yards out on the far side. James Armson will take it, he'll curl it into the box. All the big guns are up. Cowan, Malaga, Gareth Dean, all hovering around the penalty spot. And uh, there is the cross, it's low, and it just took, ooh, it just took a deflection of that. Gear Hannah will come away on this near side, the left, and then play it long up the line. It just took a deflection, didn't get any air under that at all, unfortunately. Good job. Jockey taken, Gearhan gets his head on it and uh, plays it forward. And that's played way into the air by Tom James. And uh, it's fallen to the Mansfield player. And there's a free kick, maybe, is it, on the edge of the area? Not given. So we uh, need to get away with that one. And that looked like a slight challenge. And that's not given either. So the referee letting things go as Clements uh, can just uh, get things going. And now Hutchinson on this near side. The chance to run at the defender, which is. Malaga, he's got an option outside, he's got an option inside, which is Clements, if he can get a shot away, it's up in the end, curl it, well, uh, best for you as the uh, corner comes in, this time it does go long, goalkeeper stays on his line and it's uh, hooked up into the air, it's not quite clear yet, and just nodded on, and still the danger's uh, not cleared as he scramble the ball away as Exodus plays it out to the far side, nice ball, now a chance for a right-footed cross maybe, comes in on the left and a dinky ball into the box, this will come in high to the far post and uh, up goes Malaga. He doesn't get anything behind it though and still the danger's not cleared. And they need to clear their lines. Calls for handball but uh, that would have been harsh. And still the Neaton can't clear the lines. As, uh, the ball is played out by Meekle now to this near side. Ball in long. Goalkeeper doesn't come to it. Heading down and saved on the line and then... Well, saved with the second attempt by Ben McNamara. The ball was headed down in front of... Particularly with the physical threat that, that Mansfield have is to get height and distance on the Now, uh, Connor Taylor played and he's done quite well to uh, get away and he'll get a free kick there. His uh, wrist was being held. It's Andy Brown who flipped the ball on. Taylor went between two men and he was having his uh, arm pulled back. So it's a free kick now to Nuneen at the other end. Level with the uh, Mansfield, uh, to the Mansfield penalty area and Adam Walker just down in front of us will uh, take this and again 
expect uh, Gareth Dean stayed back actually, he's uh, stayed back, Tom James is back there as well, a couple of players just on the, the edge of the box that could uh, make a move, notably James Armson and Simon Forsdick, but uh, Walker I think will clear this one in, and there's a, oh that was a great cross that it's uh, dealt with, that's a dandy brand to get under the end of that, it's a lovely curling ball, but now Tom James can perhaps get an uneaten going again, but he's taken too long, and it was Ben Hutchinson who... Uh, closed him down and took the ball off him and now Mansfield can come away with it can they well it's uh, not bad work by Nani just closing the man down on the halfway line and uh, securing a throw in to Mansfield just on the halfway line that was, uh, turn inside and uh, John Dempster the Mansfield skipper will play it out to this near side where Lyndon Meikle plays it down the line. Sorry, it was to Lyndon Meikle, beg your pardon. Now Meikle's got a chance to get his shot away and he just plays it. And he just uh, kills that one up the line. Can't tell you, he'll chase it all the way, but I'm pretty sure that this is a corner out of it, isn't it? Yeah, well done. It's uh, Taylor chased Dempster down and Dempster looked to be playing the ball out, watching the ball out, and it uh, definitely came off him and it's a unique corner. Changes his footwear for uh, Mansfield on the halfway line, and he won't wait for him. The uh, Adam Walker is going to take it. Normally they go for that little bit of a set with James Armson takes the short pass. He's not going to. He's got Danny Smith running towards him now. Now here comes potential pass into uh, Armson, and Armson runs away again. And here it comes the left foot corner. Then high, long, Look, looking for the head of Callum, but the referee Mansfield with that, which is taken quickly. Uh, Simon Forster just uh, wins that back and now James Armson gets it out to Tom James, James plays it back to Cowan, Cowan into Taylor, Taylor chests it down to uh, Adam Walker, Adam Walker now plays it out, well, it's gone all the way back to uh, Cowan, now inside to Armson, Armson's got Malaga and then he's got an option here in front of us but he chooses to play down the middle which is Andy Brown, Andy Brown's got Forster, that's the uh, Better in country, so they can ball themselves out of the league as uh, Tom James plays the ball in. Good ball if that'll just run for Andy Brown and it's uh, cleared away by Denston. That's one thing that Tom James does so well. He plays a very, very early left footed ball into the box and gets some curl on it. And he uh, certainly was looking for Andy Brown there. He can get as much height on it as he perhaps would have liked, but it was uh, a surging pass and he's gone out for a corner on the far side, which James Armstrong will take. Certainly uh, helping on its cause against Barrow here. The sat is a go. Ball played in short to uh, Danny Sleeve. Back to Armstrong. Armstrong's cross comes in. Flicked on by Gaz Dean, but it's uh, all the way across to the near side. Brown just losing out there to uh, Lee Beavers. And now a chance for Nick Wright to uh, come down the left side. He'll have a look. Just to take the player on. Just plays it in short to uh, Nick Paul. Good shot and it's a foul. Terrific effort there. There's a slight uh, wind here that's uh, picked up over the last sort of five or ten minutes and it's um, in the Neaton's faces as uh, Ben McNamara just found out there as he, his goal kick sort of held up in the wind so uh, Mansfield are a little bit wind assisted and you can tell that with some of the long balls they're playing they're uh, zipping around and carrying through as ball played long and deep again but that's well dealt with and now we're uh, Adam Walker's done well to uh, pick that up. Now, Monique can perhaps break. Played inside, and Adam Walker's just run past the ball almost there as Mansfield come again. Running direct into the box, and there uh, be cleared away for a throw in. That's Dean just uh, left footed, smashing that out for a throw in on the far side. Chance then for one of these big long throws, I think, Mark, that you were telling me about. Yeah, here we go. Exodus Gearhan, you say he's got a really long throw, so we'll uh, we'll see that. It's uh, right on the far side. It's a magic about level with an uneaten penalty area, and here it comes. Exodus Gearhan, oh, yes, you are. Bullet of a throw, and it hits the side netting. You weren't wrong, Mark. Taken quickly again by Meekle. He's had a good game so far. 
That's it was the uh, Evers again. Giving those two nicks a nice shot. Easy job with by and McNamara. Very line nearly. As Tommy falls, it gets us underway again. So Beavers takes it with his left foot and then plays it up with his right. Now uh, Meekle goes in with well, yeah, wrestling with uh, well, it's definitely a free kick with James Arms and got both arms around him. So uh, free kick to Nani. Logan plays across his own defence to uh, Gavin Cowan. Cowan into uh, Armson, the man who was fouled. He just has a little look up, plays it in short to Andy Brown, who's come for it. Armson takes the return, then plays it across to Danny Sleet. Sleet's got Malaga coming forward on this near side. Malaga looks up, checks, step, plays it back to Sleet. Sleet just rolls the ball out to Cowan, who's coming forward now. Cowan can look up, play a long ball, and that'll hold up in the wind. And, uh, Andy Brown manages to get his header on it, and Danny Sleeve comes running in. Goes uh, in with uh, Exodus here. Yeah. Uh, well, good touch by Simon Forst. It brings it down. Just uh, been. Well, he went down a little bit easy, but we'll take that. So, uh, going again quickly. Adam Walker plays it out to the far side. Connor Taylor will get to that, gets his head up. He's got an overlapping run from Tom James if he wants him, and now he'll go in. With a long cross comes uh, Simon Fawcett. Fawcett wins his header. A little bit of confusion in the box from uh, Mansfield, but booted away ball up to Simon Fawcett. He'll take it on this near side. Plays it long. Flicked on, but uh, chance now for Briscoe to come away with the ball. Good tackle by James Armstrong. Great tackle. Andy Brown turns. Plays it to the outside of his boot. Uh, he's tried to play that into the back of Danny Sleeve, but uh, it's curled out. Beavers will just. Uh, Take the throw and get things going again. Bounces off Simon Forster to Ben Hutchinson and uh, now Dempster doesn't clear that very well. Adam Walker, ooh, oh, just a little bit heavy with his first touch. And uh, to this gear hand gets there first. Played against the head of uh, Kevin Malliger. And now Beavers looks inside, plays a little one two with uh, Clements. Clements again plays it in short to uh, Hutchinson. Hutchinson to Clements and uh, that'll be a foul. Danny Sleeth on Clements. Andy Brown tells him to go away and just stands over the ball. Referee says get away. Clements stands with his hands on his hips, ready to take this. Six minutes to half time, nil nil. Arms go up in the air, suggesting it will go long to the far corner of the box. In it comes, it's a dangerous one. And, uh, and just about clearing the lines, still bobbling about in there. Mansfield's come away with it again as uh, Clements gets a chance, plays it in long. And, uh, ben McNamara just stays on his line, jumps, catches the ball. Well, that's definitely the game plan from Mansfield, get the ball in the box early uh, with some air under it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they do try and play a little bit in the final third. That's some good interchanges and getting in between the lines there. But yeah, as soon as it can go in the box, it looks to put it in the box and then you know, attack it with a purpose and it does cause problems. Mansfield coming again then. On the far side, and then played inside, and just uh, bypasses Howell. Comes to Beavers and then to uh, Meekle. Meekle plays it in right footed, harmlessly, and that'll go out for an elite goal kick. So, uh, well, Mansfield will be uh, frustrated that uh, they haven't turned, well, probably what they had, 60% of the possession, they haven't turned it into a goal. And the longer that goes on, the more Nanit will think that they can uh, get something from this game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe we've been a little bit critical with some of the, some of the clearances. Got first contact on, on most balls that have got in the box. The chances are, you get first contact on it, whichever way, um, you're going to be more successful. So, um, yeah, I think, I think the meeting can take real heart from that. I do think the conditions are very interesting. The chicken is a, a, a strong win. Um, and I think the meeting will come out and, and make the most of it. Uh, really try and play a little bit more in, in, uh, in Mansfield's half, which Mansfield won't like. Goal kick then to uh, Ben McNamara takes it and uh, Mark curls out. That's going to go out for a throw in. But uh, Mark Noon, right, at least we need to get into the ball first in the penalty area. And that uh, first touch, as he calls it, is Nuneet. It's just the second clearance isn't going anywhere. In fact, the first one is probably the wind. If it's coming off ahead, it's just hanging there in the air. And, uh, well, another chance now for uh, Mansfield as uh, Meeker will play the ball in. And uh, Nuneet just needs to stand up in there. Don't be silly, Matthew to give away as Hutchinson now comes short for the ball and plays it back and Dempster will bring the ball back into play. Played in, nice touch. Dempster turn back into the box. Doesn't get it. 
played it by Clements. Nice football there, great tackle as uh, Beavers took the ball into the box and uh, good defensive work by Nuneaton as uh, Simon Forsen tried to play the line. Had a chance, it's uh, two and a half minutes to half time. Free kick on the far side given against Nuneaton. Tested the keeper once. So, good defended by Nuneet. As Dean just turns away and belts it forward. Colin Taylor climbing all over his man. At least he's competing. That'll be a free kick. But uh, yeah, then Nuneet haven't tested the keeper in the, in the home side, and that'll be perhaps a bit of a concern for Kevin Wilkin. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what they have done is they've had a look at Mansfield, they see what they've got to offer, and, and in the second half they'll probably have a look at it. And the guys will be saying, well, we need to create more chances when this gets to the same goal. Ball played in, uh, headed away by Gaz Dean, and then the skipper, and now uh, Nico on this near side turns so well inside, trying to get it onto his right foot, and uh, but he's dispossessed, and then he come away through. Adam Walker, Adam Walker to uh, Connor Taylor. Taylor gives it back to Simon Fortick, is it? No, it's uh, Danny Sleet. Sleet just coming across to this near side. And now uh, recycling it over to Callum. Come on, big brother, push up. to uh, James Armson. Armson's got Tom James. James takes one touch, plays it down the left. Gives it into Andy Brown. Andy Brown easily dispossessed. And now uh, Mansfield can come again. Hutchinson breaking on the halfway line. He's got Meek out on his left. And you know what he can do? He'll try and get it in on his right foot. Looks up. Can you get a crossing? You can. Long, deep, free header. Back into the area. And he can just clear the lines. Thought they keep a clean sheet before half time. 30 seconds to go. I haven't seen how much added time there'll be. So he can keep possession just inside their own half. A uh, chance for them perhaps to uh, break. Kevin Malliger plays it in to uh, Danny Sleet. Sleet stumbles just as he gets there and uh, gives the ball away. Powell in the headband uh, knocks it out for throw in. Throw in then, played down the line by uh, Simon Forsick and uh, possession given away. Nico, busy, busy player for Mansfield. Gets it again, but now uh, Malaga just hoofs it forward, but that goes nowhere, and it'll be Richie Sutton all there. Uh, well, he hasn't got there first, and now an e can break. Uh, Tom James looks up, plays the ball in. Well, in fact, they've gone over the head of uh, Dempster. Andy Brown was in. But, uh, Adam Walker on the far side. Last chance in the first half for an then maybe to uh, take a lead. His ball's loose in the area. So, yeah, Adam Get that away, Hutchinson comes short for it and now gives it back to Meekle. Meekle looks to go inside on his right foot. Loose ball and then he can win it back and then give it away. That'll be half time. So uh, to build on that, I'll just give you the uh, lineups. It's uh, Ben McNamara in goal then, and back three of Kevin Malaga, Gareth Dean and Gavin Cowan. And Tom James on the left and Simon Forsdick on the right. James Allison, Daniel Sleeves and Adam Walker across the middle. Connor Taylor up front with Andy Brown. No place for Tyrell White is injured. David McNamee, no place even for John Adams. Looks at his watch to uh, get ready to start us again. And, uh, it's going to need to kick off. They'll have the win behind their back. Kick it towards the Britannia tyre stand and way to our left. I've got Mark Noon with me, the Nuneet club captain, who's uh, been summarising. Both agreed that Nuneet just need to turn it up a little bit in the second half. Take the game to Mansfield a little bit more as uh, the referee gets us started. Gavin Cowan has the ball. He'll uh, play it long and deep. You can tell straight away that they've got the win behind the back. The ball would have held up in the first half as the uh, ball rolls out for a goal kiss. And, and right, we just noticed on the bench, familiar face to Nuneet fans. Matt Reed on the bench for Mansfield, of course. He was at Corby last year. Nuneet can break now for Adam Walker to step, play the ball out wide. There's an overlapping run here for uh, Nuneet. If the ball can be played in, Tom James it is who's uh, been pushed. It's a free kick right by the bylaw. Yeah, Matt Reed, who was at Eastwood a couple of seasons ago, and then Corby last year. He's on the bench from Mansfield. Striker, big lad, good player. 
free kick to Nuneaton then. Uh, James Armson that will take it. I'm sure he'll try and curl this in. A little bit of a swirling wind. So goalkeeper Redmond just pushes a player out from under him as the ball goes over the heads of everyone and that will just be cleared away by Meikle up the left hand side. And, uh, Hutchinson who's come back to collect and then it's smashed forward but Cowan just dinks that back to uh, Gareth Dean. Dean will play it out wide to Malaga and then he plays it forward to Taylor and it goes all the way through to Shane Redman. And then and to play in your heart. So as, as we've seen in the first couple of minutes, this is very difficult for Mansfield to get out of there get out of their uh, back third slash mid third. A lot easier for, for the need to deal with. Time to take that. What a good man he is. 
is uh, Gihan will take this long throw there into the box. Up goes the head. It was Andy Brown who'd come back to defend. He's got his head on it. And now uh, Tom Jones will just go in with Gihan. He's a big strong fella, gets the ball back. Frisco plays into the box, cleared away by Andy Brown. He'll take great step cleaning the ball off with his shirt. So we know this is going to be this long. Hard throw, there it goes, right into the penalty area. Up go the heads again. I think Cowan's on there first, did he? Yeah, it's a corner. So uh, Mansfield have got out of the half, and now they're pressuring the Neaton. It's important that the Neaton uh, defend that 1 0 lead for as long as possible, preferably to the end of the game. As, uh, uh, Clements knocks the ball long, up goes Gearhan and uh, Perhaps could have let that go out, but uh, he didn't take any chances. Perhaps seen that go out for a goal kick, but he uh, smashes it out to the far side now. Exodus Gihan will trot over so we know what's going to happen. Complete replica of what we've just seen on this near side. It will be uh, wipe the ball with the shirt. Back against the advertising hoarding, and then uh, you run and pedal that ball into the box. Here it comes again. Up goes. The heads, chance for the shot. Have been impressed with the lead in the second half? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think they've, they've really taken the game to Mansfield and using the conditions to look back. You know, the box them in for the first you know, 10 minutes and you know, made it really difficult to Mansfield. Made, made them defend a few things and they've got more quality into the front and played with a bit more quality. Headed by Gaz Dean, but then Met Gihan plays it forward. But Malaga will get there first. A foot foot up there against. Uh, Danny Sleep, good appeal by Tom James. That's one thing that Kevin Wilkin was saying, wanted his players to be a little bit more uh, vociferous out there, appeal for things, be a bit louder. And Tom James appeal for that one and the free kick given. Ball played into the box, but again, it just, uh, with the wind behind it, it skips off the sleeve. On a Taylor, super right foot shot on the 49th minute, putting them in front. The ball hangs in the air. Goes Cowan, wins that one, plays it down. It's one for Andy Brown perhaps to uh, chase down, but Sutton will just let that go out for a throw in and then plays it back to his keeper. Cowan then, puts it back and down the line. Andy Brown won't keep that in. second half appears to have taken a little bit of the sting out of uh, Mansfield. Pushing the bat there by Tom James. He knew he'd done that. He's got his arms up and then he says, what? Me, ref? Never. Free kick to uh, Mansfield. Which, uh, John Dempster, the skipper, will take. Just uh, rolls the ball down. Puts his arm up. Big presence in the box. All the Nanit players just lining up against the edge of the penalty area. And it'll come. Swing there. Go the heads. Throw the header away by James Armstrong. What time has the Golden gone? Has it been announced? Yeah. And it brings the ball away. Adam Walker just plays it into Connor Taylor. Taylor takes it down on his chest. Gets a nudge in the back. Wasn't quite strong enough there. But he'll win the ball back there. And now, uh, well, Mansfield can come away with it. Hutchinson. Got an option out here, which is Briscoe. Briscoe just lays it back to uh, Sutton. Sutton gives it him back down the line. He just gets past Tom James, gets his first time ball in. And uh, Cowan gets there first. Adam Walker plays a little ball to arms and arms, and then plays it up. And Andy Brown won't reach it. So uh, Gearhan gives it back to Sutton. Sutton digs it in. And again, Briscoe's lost his man. Gets that ball in. Great goal. Super goal. Lovely cross by Briscoe. Curled the ball in behind the Nani defence and uh, smashed into the net. Just Nick Wright on the ball. Touch on it. You know, the ball's got a touch on it. Good finish. I mean, I think this Nani has kicked themselves a little bit. They did have a chance to clear it in this left back area and get some distance on the ball. Yeah, when it's the core ball to set forward ready, you couldn't really get hold of it, and that's where the attack originated. So, I'd be a little bit disappointed with that. Yeah, Maxfield coming again now, so that's uh, got their tails up a little bit. So, uh, people on the far side, 1-1 one, one then. Yeah. 
eight minutes we're giving that us. Past Tom James. He done it once and he did it a second time. And the second time his cross was absolutely perfect. And Nick Wright stuck out his foot and steered it into the net. Nothing that Ben McNamara could do. So it's all square again. Again, it's uh, Adam Walker. He's got an option out on the far side flag side. Simon Forster, obvious, I suppose. Yeah, again, big test of character. You know, say everyone has a big test of character every single week. Yeah. You know, you're playing against big sides that can cause you problems. And, you know, we've gone ahead and you, you know, you'd like to maybe defend that lead a little bit better. But teams, if you sit back a little bit, which is a, is a, a natural thing when you when you score the goal, then you know teams are going to cause you problems. Right? Step, plays it into the path of uh, Howell. Howell gives it over to the far side and now uh, I'll look for an option to come back towards well, Denstra it is, who gives it all the way back to his keeper and he'll put his foot through it and send it into the non-eaten half. Gazdeen watches it and then uh, heads it. Well done, Connor Taylor puts a challenge in there, wins ahead of it, not for the possession. Ball played forward again. As it went through to uh, Simon Forsdick played on by Sleeth. Brown can't quite control it. Neither can Hutchinson for uh, Mansfield. Just played in. Adam Walker's lost his man. It just plays into Connor Taylor. Taylor, nice reverse pass to Andy Brown. Andy Brown, first time ball into the box. Adam Walker had kept his run going. But, uh, it's up going out. Goal kick then to uh, Mansfield. Into the air. Yeah. Just a bad guess there first. And now we're. Uh, Tom James plays it into the feet of Andy Brown. Andy Brown back to Adam Walker. Adam Walker gets the ball away. Well, just looked for the return pass from, uh, from Brown. He did walk up. That didn't quite come through. And uh, it's a goal kick. Find that uh, well, Sutton will get there first. He's on the game of Briscoe down the side. Plays it into the path. Of, uh, the goal scorer, Nick Wright. Right onto the far line. Take that thing. Gets it down to defend him. Uh, stirred up the Mansfield fans who are uh, sitting around us down here in the main stand uh, behind the goal to my right which uh, Mansfield are shooting into Briscoe lost his man again there corner Clemson takes it in it goes high go the heads Malaga that got there, but he's only handed it back to Clemens. Clemens just plays in a short ball. Good shot. Oh, 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 oh. Just curling away from the goal. Uh, Clemens looked as though he was going to dig a high one into the box. Faked that, played it back into the path of Briscoe, and he uh, smashed it past the far post. And uh, no need, need to get hold of this Briscoe uh, Survive that square as uh, McNamara gets his going again. 21 minutes gone then in the second half. It's uh, Nuneaton 1, Mansfield 1, and uh, Coventry have extended their lead against Crawley. It's now Coventry 3, Crawley 1. Throw into Nuneaton. Played up the line. Andy Brown knocks it on, but uh, it's cleared away. And played forward. to work the goal scorer, Nick Wright, on the far side now. Wright just plays it back up. Simon falls it, nips in and nicks the ball. Just, uh, clears the danger, throw in. Mansfield definitely back in this now. Rocked by the goal for sure for a few moments. They've weathered that storm, got a goal back and now they're uh, looking to try and get themselves in front. Ball in short to uh, Powell. That comes out to Briscoe. Ball played in. Stays at the top of the heads. It's a corner. Like the far side this time. Mansfield turning the pressure up. Give you some other scores. Telford 2, Epsfleet 2, Dartford 0. Forest Green 1, Gayson 2, Alfreton 0. Third one, Tangley, yes, corner. In it comes Curling. Sleep. Mansfield come again. Can't clear the lines. He's got every 
every man behind the ball. Played into the box. Gazdeen gets up. Frisco sends it back in. Dempster, oh dear. It's supposed to be played into the box, but it's gone nowhere. Richardson picks up the loose ball and uh, Neaton Deeks try and get the ball back. Good run this. Played in. Exodus has stayed up with plays that little one two. Just played in the He probably should have had a shot himself as the lead the field for uh, offside there. Mansfield won, as you know, Newport 5 2 up against Cambridge. Southport 1, Wrexham 1, Stockport 3, Barrow 1, Woking 2, Kidderminster 2. So, uh, results not really going on either way at the moment. Especially that high result, they're winning. Coward plays the ball to the halfway line where Andy Brown will just take it down at the chest. Can he turn? Well, just get a hand as well there. towards Andy Brown, Andy Brown will bring that down but uh, foul in the process, free kick, the chance for Nanit to just uh, get themselves organised, been under the cosh for the last five minutes, 25 minutes gone in the second half, 1-1, one, one. all played in, all offside, intelligent free kick given, Everybody nibbling at the legs of the player, but he uh, does well to wriggle free. And uh, now yeah, Meekle gets away from this man, but Gaz D goes to ground. And now it's two against one. Is that offside? No, it is. It's plainly to uh, Nick Wright. Just has a little look up. Can he uh, bring the ball back across the box? And well in by James Armson. Danger there for the Meekle. Two against two at one point. Headed up. James just heads uh, it out for his quickly as uh, Mansfield try and turn the screw. Hutchinson plays it inside. Dinky pass easily dealt with by Cowan. Finds Armson. Armson, well, that was a little bit late on Andy Brown. Andy Brown can't believe that. Oh, yeah. A few draws in between, but uh, fortunately, it's not going to be enough. All played for by McNamara. to uh, Andy Brown and then that little dinky pass over that's one for Wes but it's quick get it right stop watching man good okay here we go I'll go there it's Cowan can't quite steer it towards Andy Brown so that'll come out for a throw in which uh, Sutton will take on this near side leaves it though actually for uh, Gearham So he gets the free kick. James Armson that uh, puts the ball down and uh, the wind just picks up at that point. So we'll be looking at a ball into the box for sure. Looking for the heads. Cowan's gone forward. He has stayed back. But, uh, Kevin Malag has gone forward and there's that flighted cross but uh, easily dealt with by the Mansfield defence. Just managed to uh, win the ball. Now it's given away and uh, Mansfield can break. Oh, James Johnson wins the ball back. Wes just being there. Uh, Shepard did just very, very well there. He was, uh, was under a bit of pressure from Hutchinson. Now uh, Gaz Dean can play it forward to uh, Andy Brown. Andy Brown just steers his header down to Adam Walker. Adam Walker looks at goal, has a long range shot with his right foot. Goalkeeper gets down well to his near post and just gathers that up on uh, Alan Walker's weaker foot. And then he's going to find a goal from somewhere. Three points that much needed. So just a long ball played forward. Danny Sleep just uh, being hassled. That's what plays very, very quick to work. Uh, Get the ball in, Briscoe though. Can't get the ball into the box. Smashed away, gives him straight back to uh, oh Mansfield. And now James Arson can put the ball forward into the path of Andy Brown. Andy Brown will chase that ball down, but I'm pretty sure that Dempster will just let that run out. Well, Brownie never gives up. He forced the ball to be played, but it's a throw in to Mansfield. <laughs> now, all 
also fancy that they can steal all three points. Ball thrown up the line. Ooh, James Hansen nips in, then it just goes inside, just plays the ball across the box. It's a good one, it's uh, Simon Fawcett that's come up. Can he get it on his left foot? He can. It's a good effort. Oh, and just past the post. Um, but you know Simon's really dangerous, particularly on that on his uh, on that right side where he can just step in and, and hit it off his left foot. So you know, great strike from Simon, positive. Chance now for uh, well maybe uh, where's York was put through and we know what he's capable of. And uh, goalkeeper had to be smart to come to the edge of his area to pick that up because uh, Wes bearing down on you, you know what's possible. Keeper gets us underway by pushing the ball forward. Up comes the cap. Brisker. Sorry, uh, putting Nick right through to equalise and sort of way through the goalkeeper, uh, Frisco. Put Nick right in, first time shot straight into the net, steered the ball in very, very well. 58 minutes. Throw in on the far side. Rather 
see the ball at the other end. Throw in then to Mansfield. Played in. Uh, another throw in. So Malaga just puts it out for the box. Another throw in. Oh, there he comes. Old uh, Exodus Gearham with that long throw. Not the far side. He's level with the six yard box. And he not only throws it long, but as Mark Noon says, puts a little bit of power behind it as well. It's a very, very straight throw. And there it comes. Flicked on. Cleared away by Tom Jones. Well done. Now Adam Walker, if he can get there first, he can. He's, got, he's under a little bit of pressure. Plays it towards uh, Rose York. Rose York goes to ground. He thought he should have had the free kicks. Not given. People on this near side now. Cuts in on his left. Got a player on the overlap down the right. Gives it to him now. Tom Jones comes across just to shepherd him. Meikle looks up. Plays it. Lovely ball inside. Tom Jones to uh, uh, four cross. Played it into the path of uh, Richie Sutton. Uh, that's where the goal came from. And, uh, he just couldn't steady himself and put it out for a goal kick. Got to work on that in training, haven't we? Because that's about third time that they've got him behind Tom, poor boy. Uh, you know, yeah, I think you know, with the four left that we have as well, they're going to get overloads in wide areas. You know, full back kind of wide player there, you know, with their four four two. That's that's where their overload is. So, you know, they've got just a little bit too close to the wide man there. It's got him behind him, but you know, he's recovered, he's got back, and he's not not got across it. So I think he's done enough to be fair to him. Now. Three minutes then to be uh, added on. So Andy Brown gives away a free kick. So what we know, it's uh, it's always going to go to the death here at Liberty. There's no uh, <laughs> never sit back and relax for sure. Redmond then kicks it long and high, but uh, Gazdine gets his head on it and then that flicked on by Danny Sleeth and. Uh, Looks like he's missed it by Hal, but he gets away with it. And now uh, Beavers can uh, play it into forward. And then, oh, well, he looks on wide. Yeah. So, then did meet the flag had gone up, but the uh, referee allows Ben McNamara to uh, play on. Kicks it long from uh, the neat and steal a goal in the uh, added minutes, like they did against Barrow a few weeks ago. They're not going to get a goal without the ball. So, was played to Sutton, Sutton long, and uh, Mark Cowan will come across, and then inside, James Arson will come to the back, and in, and uh, McNamara just keeps his eye on that, keeps his feet steady, and then plays it forward. Danny uh, Sleeve just looks across, he's got Tom James on the near side, James digs the ball up into the air, and that's a good run across by uh, Simon Forsby, he's come a long, long way forward, and, uh, got a lot of work to do, but it's uh, Wes York who's got back well done anyways. I'll, uh, I'll go and occupy the halfway line. In comes the ball. Played into feet. Will it go out? To, uh, no, it's kept in. On the far side. Ball played in short. Chance for a cross. Dinked into the far post. Up go the heads. Oh, Eddie. What a good chance for Mansfield. Heading straight towards the keeper. And uh, McNamara claims it. It's a really, really good chance for Mansfield to... Nick it at the death, he should have done better with that header, shouldn't he? Yeah, that must have get out of jail from the middle there, I think. Uh, three at the back post, uh, and he's headed straight at the goal. But, but yeah, a little bit too easy for the Nick to like it. Well, one last chance perhaps uh, for Nuneen, is it? No, that's it. Full time, Nuneen 1, Mansfield 1.